guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome on in if you're new. Hi, my name is Lonnie and welcome to Cozy Cove. Have you been struggling with the visitors, having trouble getting them to come to your island, don't know what to do, what to build, what to put inside of a cabin, or what the cabins even look like? Well, I got you covered. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the different types of cabins that you can get, how to get them, how to decorate the cabins, and how to get the villagers to come to your island. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first things first, you need to get your hands on some strawberry crates. This is what you're gonna need to be able to open the cabins. So I'm gonna take you over to the seaside resort area first so you can see what the cabins look like and how much it costs to open the cabin. Now each cabin costs a different price depending on its location and they look different too. So let's check out the seaside resorts cabins first. Okay, now you just saw that I used three strawberry crates to purchase this cabin. This is what the interiors look like inside of the cabin. They have a basic floor, kind of like a sandy floor and like a wicker type of background. Um, I'm gonna show you another cabin and I'm gonna show you how much it costs. Now the cabin costs three crates when you buy the cabin. Now, if you take my Melody along as a companion, the price goes on sale. So you definitely wanna take her with you because it drops from three crates to purchase to two crates with my Melody. Now all the cabins in the Seaside Resort area do cost the same price, but they kind of look slightly different, at least in the colorations, as you see here in this next Seaside cabin. The first one had like a sandy floor and green trim on the walls. This one has a wooden floor and beige trim on the walls. So they're kind of the same, but yet different, <laughs> you know? Okay, so on to our next location. I'm gonna take you over to the Spooky Swamp. You can see what the outside of the cabins look like here. In the Spooky Swamp, there are four cabins in the Spooky Swamp where the Seaside Resort had eight cabins. So this is half of the amount of cabins available. The Spooky Swamp cabins cost five crates. But if you bring my Melody, they will cost you four crates. This is what the interior of the Spooky Swamp cabins look like. You know, they kind of run down and uh, they got that purple and teal action going. I kind of love these colors, to be honest. Old floorboards with the ripped wallpaper uh, to kind of give it that rundown haunted spooky vibe. That's it for the Spooky Swamp cabins. All right, on to our next location, the Rainbow Reef area. I really love the underwater cabins and the underwater vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so there are four underwater reef cabins available to purchase and they cost five strawberry crates each. But if you bring my Melody, they cost four strawberry crates. They're on discount. I really like these cabins because they come with a little carpet and a cute little window with some drapes on it. I think it's really, really adorable. I like the little window in it and it's just super cute. And it matches my little beachy outfit. Let's go. All right, our next location is the Gemstone Mountain area. Now in the Gemstone Mountain area, there are five total cabins in this area. The cost for the each cabin is seven crates a piece. But again, if you bring my Melody, there are only six strawberry crates. This is what the interior looks like. It's kind of got that little country vibe, you know, a little rustic going, got that little wooden dance floor, you know what I mean? And uh, the little barnyard fencing on the interior, kind of cool. Now, let's go ahead and take you over to the next area, the Mount Hothead area. This is the volcano area. Now, these cabins cost 10 crates a piece. Yes, you heard that right. 10 crates each. But a discount with my Melody would be 9 crates each. Now, I like the purple interior, the little checkered floor in here, and the little wall with the, like, little peaky boos of the volcanic lava. And this is what the outside looks like, you know, kind of got that adobe look. Kind of neat. Let's go over to our last area in Cloud Island. Now guys, this is a little spoiler, so if you don't wanna see this, you might wanna skip a little bit, <laughs> you know? Now guys, Cloud Island takes the cake so far as the price of crates per cabin. Now, Mountain Hothead, I don't know if I mentioned, but it had four cabins in Mountain Hothead, but Cloud Island has six cabins available to purchase. Now guys, the cabins here cost 12 crates, yes. 12 crates, a whole dozen of crates. 
to get inside these cute little star cabins, but they are very well worth it. They are super cute. But if you go with my melody, they cost 11 strawberry crates to get into. So let me go ahead and show you what this cabin looks like on the inside. Look at this cabin, guys. It has a rug and it has a live wallpaper. And look, even Peckle snuck into my cabin. I think this is a glitch, guys. Uh, so far, I've never had any other companions enter my cabin ever. <laughs> so Peckle is um special. Okay, so uh, he's gonna hang out with me for a hot minute so I tell you about this cabin. But yeah, I really like these and I think that they're super cute. And each cabin uh, area has a different theme of furniture. Um, they all have a complete collection of furniture also per re resort area or per biome, I guess. So um, yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so in the beginning of the game, you know, we have a lot of furniture. They got their little individual themes, and I wanted to make them match. So I thought they would look cute that way. But, you know, then there are visitors that are needed to come to our island. And they require a whole new different ball game. You can't decorate it the way you want it. You have to decorate it the way they want it. So, let's get into that. In order to get a cutie patootie like this little espresso here, you have to go into your applications and look in the visitors tab. Here you will see the different visitors, their name, their birth date, and a little bit about themselves and what they would like in a visitor cabin. You will also see the star icon next to them with a level. Like you see here, Dear Daniel is at a level three star. Once he gets to level five, he will want to move in permanently and you can choose a cabin of your choice to put him in and to decorate it the way you'd like to. As you see in Dear Daniel, he must be in the seaside resort area to be near Hello Kitty and he must have three pieces of furniture, any kind, in one cabin. For Espresso here, he must have three music items and he must have three bookshelves. Now looking at the musical icon, it doesn't matter what kind of music items as long as it has the musical icon. And as far as the bookshelves go, it doesn't tell you specifically what kind as long as you have three. Now for Mimi, she must be in the seaside resort area to be near Hello Kitty. She must have two bakery items and she must have five pieces of Hello Kitty furniture. Now looking at the little bakery icon, the little baked bread means it'll have to be something that you bake from Hello Kitty's bakery. Looking at the little icon here, that is the Hello Kitty symbol, which means you need five pieces of Hello Kitty furniture. As you're scrolling through the visitors tab, you can notice that all of the little icons will tell you exactly what requirements are needed for the visitors to come to the cabins. You must have those specific items in the cabins in order for them to visit. Now, I do wanna point out something very important on the little icon tab. Now, when you see the little gray circle with a line through it, that means that a visitor is not traveling at this time. You can still build a cabin for them and await their arrival, but they're not traveling at the moment. So it will be some time before they arrive. When you see this icon, it means that the visitor is on your island right now. And you should definitely go visit them and do their daily tasks for them. Now, when you have a visitor that you've met already in the past and there is no icon, you have built a cabin, you're starting to gain friendship points with that particular character, but they are not on the island at this present time. When you see the teal icon, this icon means that they are traveling at the moment. So you will want to make sure that you have a cabin ready and available for when they show up. Your best chances are to get this visitor next if you have all the requirements. Now make sure you pay attention to my Melody's announcements because she will let you know when you have a visitor on your island. She will also let you know of future traveling visitors that may be looking for a place to stay. Now, if you wanna get the visitor to stay permanently on your island, every time that they show up, they will have a request in the daily requests. Usually it's something very simple for you to do, like give Hello Kitty a specific pie or something, or to take a photo with a specific character. So you wanna go ahead and do those tasks and you will increase your star level with that character. Once they get to level five, they will ask to stay on your island permanently. Now, some of these characters, like Tam, 
If you don't get the requirements for the summit event furniture now, you will have to wait till next summer to be able to get Tam on your island. So guys, go collect your sunscreen and I do have a video on my channel about how to do that. I'll link that in description below. Okay, so now that I've given you visitors 101, <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and build a cabin or two and show you what to do. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one we're gonna work on here is Dear Daniel. So let's go ahead and pick a cabin in the Seaside Resort area. I'm gonna choose this one. We need to have Seaside Resort area next to Hello Kitty, which we are in, so that's checked off, and we need three pieces of furniture. Now it doesn't matter which ones because it doesn't say specifically any type of furniture. So we can choose three of our choice. Here you see it is now checked off. The Seaside Resort is checked off and three pieces of furniture are checked off. So this cabin is ready for Dear Daniel to come. Now as you can see, I've already met Dear Daniel. I'm just relocating him because <laughs> I wanted him back in this house. All right, let's go ahead and build our next cabin. I'm just gonna walk right over here. I'm still in the Seaside Resort. Here I am on the map. This one you need to be in the Seaside Resort area, which we are, you must have two bread items and five Hello Kitty items. We're gonna put the five Hello Kitty items in first. Now I can tell that they're Hello Kitty items by looking at the little icon, which I'll talk about in just a moment. Now we have our five pieces of furniture in. Let's go ahead and put the two bread items. Now to put the bread items, you just go inside up to the table, click on the little hand icon and select your food item of choice. Now since I don't have another piece of furniture to put it on for the next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the cinnamon bread on the floor. <laughs> just for this build, okay? Now we've met all of the requirements. We've got the Hello Kitty Seaside Resort area, we've got the two bread items and we have the five Hello Kitty items. So this cabin is done. Okay, on to the next. We're gonna build this one. It has specific requirements. So we're gonna stay in the Seaside Resort area. Here we are on the map. Now for this one, we need the coastal plant from the Seaside Resort, the spooky lounge from the Spooky Swamp, the rustic bookcase from Gemstone Mountain, the pirate chest from Rainbow Reef, and the tropical bed from Mount Hothead. So this is very specific for this one. So let's go ahead and get that coastal plant, the pirate chest. We need the rustic bookcase. Let's get that spooky lounge. Okay, one more item, the tropical bed, that's right. So we need to go ahead and put that tropical bed in and here we go. Let me just rearrange it a little bit. Yeah, I like this better. <laughs> all right, so we have all five pieces and they're all checked off on the list as you can see. So this cabin now is ready to go. Now, just a quick little tip. If you check a checklist in a particular cabin, you have to be in the cabin to check the checklist for that specific cabin. Don't check another cabin while in this cabin because it's only gonna show you requirements of the one that you're building. So in other words, only check the checklist when you're inside the actual building that you're building now. All right, let's go ahead and work on this cabin staying in the Seaside Resort area. I'm just gonna jump right down here. Now, for this particular one, you have to be in the Seaside Resort area, have one piece of this type of furniture and five pieces of clothing on display. So let's get the furniture. Okay, I'm choosing the wrong furniture here and let's go ahead and grab some mannequins. So you can see that the piece of furniture won't check off and the mannequins won't check off until you put the clothing on them. So let me show you how to do that. You go up to them just like you did with the table. You click on the little hand icon and then you select the clothing of your choice and you do that for all five. Now I only have two here because I only have two mannequins right now, but I need to continue to check the shop to get some more. So we have the wrong piece of furniture here. So let me go ahead and talk about the furniture icons now and why it's important and how to choose the right ones. Okay, so for this particular build, we needed this type of furniture here with the little spikes on it. So we have to scroll through all of our little lists. As you can see, it really looks similar to the Big Challenges furniture collection, but it's not. Each one of the little icons represents a different type of furniture, so you have to be very careful in selecting the right one. As you can see here, it is actually the Summer Collection that I needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a piece from the Summer Collection furniture. Now you can see that that furniture icon is indeed checked off. Now all we need to do is get three more mannequins for this build and then it will be ready. So let's go ahead and move on to our next build since I can't finish that one yet. All right, let's build our next cabin here on the map, staying in the Seaside Resort area. Let's go ahead and look at the requirements. We need three music items and three bookshelves. Now it doesn't tell us which ones, we can choose whatever we want. So let's go ahead and get three bookshelves. They don't have to match. <laughs> and three musical items. 
Look how colorful this room is. I mean, hello? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to move here, right? It's super cute. So we have our three music items and our three bookshelves that are checked off. So this cabin's done. I'm gonna go ahead and check for some more mannequins over at my Melody shop, just in case that she has any. So you guys definitely check my Melody shop each and every day because she has different items for sale and grab them while you can. Definitely grab them and check your lists of building requirements because you never know what you need. And it might be a while again before you see it. Like these fish tanks you might need. Not all pieces of furniture can be purchased. Some of them have to be crafted, like this yummy bookcase needs to be crafted from a recipe. Or like this fish sofa that you get as a reward from the fishing wells. All right, now I'm gonna talk about real quick how to put little creatures inside of the aquariums and terrariums and such, and how the bed is useful in the game, and how to put things on the tables just in case you're a little bit confused or need some help there. So you go ahead and put these items down. So for the bed, you use this to sleep and so you can change the time of day. Now this is really helpful when you're looking for specific critters to catch. And I do have a very helpful tips and tricks video on how to catch critters on my channel and that's in the second half of that video and I will link that down in the description below so you go ahead and sleep and you can see indeed it does change from night into day now let's talk about how to put the critters in the aquariums you go up to the aquarium and you just choose the creature of your choice by selecting a little hand icon so I put a little reef creature in here I'm putting a spooky swamp creature in this one now let's go ahead and put something on the table now I'm gonna show you how to remove them and change your mind. You just go back in or click the hand icon again and you click the X to remove the items and they come back out. Then you can select a new one of your choice. Let's put in this one and we'll choose this and let's choose that. Okay, so you can see. Now, let me show you what happens when you delete these items or remove these items from your cabin. Let's take off the bed. Let's take out the aquarium with the turtle in it, the terrarium with the frog in it, and the table with the crate on it. Now you can see you get all of your items back into your inventory, including the items that were inside. So you don't have to pick them up one by one. Okay, I just wanna point out that there are two fishing wishing wells that you can get the fish furniture collection from. One here in the spooky swamp area where you put some fish in and hopefully get a fish item, but I didn't put enough, so I only got fish dye. So here's another one in Cloud Island. Go ahead and put some fish in on this one. I'll choose these and let's see what we get. Okay, we got a fish ottoman, so there you go. Now let's go ahead and check on our visitors. Mimi is visiting the island. Here she is on the map. Let's go ahead and check on her. And here you see little Mimi. She has arrived because we've decorated her cabin. And then she's gonna want you to make sure that you do her daily request. So do not forget to do the daily request. That way you level up with her on friendship level and increase the star friendship level for that particular visitor. So here's the daily quest. She wants some fabric. So you can get fabric from gifting from Tuxedo Sam, or you can go ahead and craft your own. So for here, I'm just gonna go ahead and craft my own. I've got my fabric. And now I've completed the quest. Just to check on Mimi again. And she said, thank you for helping her out. And she will see me again next time she's around visiting. All right, now let's go ahead and check on dear Daniel. Hi, dear Daniel, what you got going on today? So we're gonna check him out and he's just gonna do his little introduction, a little spiel, ask me to do his little quick task. I will make sure that I do his daily task. He wants me to gift Hello Kitty some pie, cause that's his girlfriend, you know? He gives me another pie, you know, just to give to her. Yeah, okay, dear Daniel, you're such a cutie. Okay, bye now. Now let's check on our little teeny tiny cutie patootie espresso i love this one guys super cute and adorable it reminds me of one of my puppies that i used to have like eons ago so he's going to be here and i will need to make sure that i do his daily task so he will come back and visit my island until i level him up to level five and i will be able to ask him to live on my island permanently i'm so excited he's so cute look how adorable i love him oh super cute <laughs> so cute.
Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. I really hope that you found it very helpful and insightful in helping you get visitors onto your island, how to build for them, and what to do. So I hope that you have a better idea of how to go about getting visitors to your island. If you found this video helpful, guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out my channel so much. And if you've made it to the video this far, put in the comments, espresso. <laughs> so I know that you made it this far. Well, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.